Hello everybody, welcome to a new video, and today we are going to be going through my new gaming setup, in fact. This is the big update that I did about a month ago. I want to make this quick because I barely had much time in the last video to even make a video under 10 minutes because this phone only allows me to go to 10 minutes. So I want to make this somewhat quick. I'm going to fly by these things, really. So right here we have... Hold on. Let's start here. <laughs> So right here is where my handhelds are. Got the Nintendo DS, the PSP, and the PS Vita. Got a record player right here. The drawers beneath it is where all my PSP games are, as well as my only PS Vita game and some DS games as well. The drawer beneath that, whoa, the drawer beneath that is where an old DS is, and an old Game Boy Advance system is, as well as some Game Boy Advance games, and some leftover plastic bags, because why not, right? Lovely. And right next to those is three guitars. I do have a fourth one. You'll see it in a second. So back here, right next to the guitars, we have an old tube TV, CRT TV, whatever you want to call it. Literally all my wires are shoved behind it, basically, but that's that. Beneath it, it's sitting on top of a VCR or a VHS player. Next to that is a PS2, set on top of the original Xbox. We have a Guitar Hero Live receiver for the Xbox One Guitar Hero Live game. I should mention what these guitars are for. 360 Guitar Hero 3 guitar, or really any Guitar Hero game on 360. Guitar Hero Live and an old PS2 Guitar Hero 2 guitar. This is the clock you see occasionally in my videos. This is the Xbox, my Xbox One with its 2 terabyte SSD from Seagate. There's its, ew, okay, very filthy connector. I don't really notice the filthiness of these things until I have a, a light shining right on them. <laughs> ew. And the Xbox One gonna, what the heck? I've never seen that before, that's weird. <laughs> Anyways. Xbox One controller, the Xbox 360 right over here with its controller and stuff. That flash drive I use for things, I don't use for storage though. There's a 360 connect. We got some over here. This is an old plug and play system. And then for PS2 and OG Xbox, nor hooked up to the, to the CRT, I use this thing because it only goes inputs through coaxial cables, whatever. This is the main TV I use. And then we got the main desktop computer. This was built mainly because of an Elgato that's inside of it. You can see it right there. So I don't know the specs of this piece. Again, I, okay, so I should say I built this computer. Primarily, I built it, so I didn't buy it off Amazon or Craigslist or whatever. I literally built it. Got its headset there. Got an Xbox 360 receiver there for games like Clone Hero, which by the way, 360 rock band guitar here. Right here is a Raspberry Pi system with its controller right here, which is a 360, whatever. So this is the monitor for the PC with a wireless Logitech keyboard and mouse, along with a flop a three and a three and a half inch floppy disk drive and a CD-ROM. Here's some of my floppies here, in fact. Got a couple boxes of them. There's four, there's one in behind here. And there's some CD games right there. And all of this is all plugged in from this one little power strip here. But it's not just one, it's, it's one power strip and then plugged into it is another. Plugged into that is, as you can see, another way back there behind the monitor. So the, this power strip controls this TV all the way to the, the main desktop computer, not including all that. We'll get into that in a second. So now in these drawers, you got, I got a load of Xbox. This is the Xbox game drawer. So there's some OG Xbox games in back there, some 360 ones, and X, Xbox One. Right here, right, right here I have PS4, PS3, PS2, and PS1 games. As you can see, is is this bad? Like, is this bad? 
Wow, it took enough muscle to get that sucker in there, but this is where all my DVDs, VHS tapes, and Blu-ray things are. There's a DVD player there, however, I don't use that because I have an Xbox One 360 and all that that can play DVD and Blu-rays. Well, Xbox One, PS4, I have a DVD, a DVD and Blu-rays and stuff, and PS3. VHS players, that's what that's for right there. Players, wow. Under this drawer is a lot of junk. So, I mean, you got some old phones here from, like, the early 2000s. Guitar Hero. So, really, just guitar straps for the plastic guitars. A lot of just accessories. I know hidden around here somewhere. Okay, that's a video card right there. That's what I know. Right here, because my PS1 is a very obsolete system, where almost a lot of my PlayStations in here can play them, and a Raspberry Pi, and emulators on PC, that's where this is set. set. I got head, some heads, an old headset here, and this is where all my record player records are, really. Even though I do have some, some sitting around on top of it, as you saw. And this drawer is where a lot of the backup consoles are, so you have a backup PS2, Star Wars Xbox 360, an old 360 Power Brick, and Nintendo GameCube. And I didn't have enough room for all the 360 games in the, in the first drawer, so... Here's the remainder of the Xbox games. Not, not 360, Xbox, but... And some backup controllers as well. So right next to the desktop computer, which by the way has a, 10, a 1050 Ti in it, just thought I'd throw that in there, because that's the only th spec of the PC I know. It has a little laptop sitting right next to it. In the drawer here, you got some PC games. They're very old. When you have a PC that has a 1050 Ti and Specs are meant to be for an Elgato HD60 Pro. Shouldn't really expect much from it, but you know, it's whatever. Underneath here are a load of unused wires. And then here is the rest of the setup. This is the VR setup, I would call it. And motion controls. So there's the router right there to all the other everything in this room. All these are plugged into their own separate power cord. Power through I mean right there. On the ground. That's just a bag of trash. I don't want to talk about that. But, but yeah, so basically every night and every time I'm not here at the house, I basically turn all these power strips off in the, in the events of a power surge or, and lightning hit in the house or whatever. Even though both those are pretty darn rare. So just be on the safe side. That's, this is like, what, $2,000, $3,000 worth of stuff I have in this room. But yeah. Right here is the PlayStation 3, as you've seen for the past like 30 seconds. A TV this is for the VR setup, motion control, whatever. I don't have motion controls on my PS3 yet, but I do plan on getting it in the future, hence why this is here. And yeah, ignore that dust thing, I don't know what that's there for. Right here's my PS4 with its 2 terabyte SSD from Seagate as well. There's a PS3 controller sitting on top of it. I, I, I assume my PS4 controller is oh, it's right there. <laughs> That was this is the VR with its charger and display station. The whole reason why I have this one for the PS3 is because when I asked for this one, they gave me that, which is kind of weird. But yeah, on top of it, you got the VR, two motion controllers for the PS4, and a PS4's controller. Duh. And right here is the PlayStation camera. So I think it's pretty good. I mean, it, VR is fun, except in my case, it's a little risky because when you have a ceiling fan with a light that's completely surrounded by glass, obviously that's a safety hazard of some sort, so obviously I have to be a little careful when I'm playing. But yeah, very quick like here. In here, we got some board games and some old things here. When the service, internet service provider came to move the router up here, he actually was friendly enough and gave me three Ethernet cables. Yeah, there's just some weird card and board games in here. Nothing too important, really. And yeah, there's a lot of wires under there. This is the uh, VR thing, the jigger. The little thing. But yeah. And that is about it for this setup. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all later. Oh, wait, no. Poster. Poster, 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 poster. Bye!